Hey everyone, today I want to show you guys how easy it is to turn your Instagram profile, your personal profile, into a business profile. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm Nikki Haley, aka Madam Mortgage, and I provide practical tips and tricks for real estate agents and mortgage loan originators to help them grow their business on social media organically. So make sure you hit the subscribe button below for more. Right here, we're looking at one of the pages that I manage, that I own. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys real easy how quick it is. First, you're going to click over here to the right on the little hamburger looking thing or cheeseburger, as I like to call it. And you're going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says settings. And you're going to click on that. So as you click on it, you'll see there's a couple different options for you to customize your profile and a couple different data points for you to look at. What you want to pay attention to here is where it actually says account. You want to click there. So under those options about your account, saved, close friends, language, so on and so forth. But at the very bottom, that little blue link there that says switch to a business account is where you really want to hone in and focus. And it's really easy. Welcome to Instagram business tools, the family lender, which is the page that I'm managing right now. You're going to go ahead and click continue. Then it's going to say get new contact options, add a contact button to your profile to make it easier for people to get in touch with you. That's one of the benefits of actually having a business profile. Reach your customers, create promotions on Instagram to reach more customers and build your business. So when you do have a business profile, you do have the option to do promotions and run ads on Instagram as well. And then learn about your followers, which to me is the most beneficial part of having a business profile on Instagram because you get, as you see in this screenshot here, the demographic information of who is actually engaging with your Instagram page and the content that you're actually posting. So go ahead and hit continue there. And then as you see, there's a whole list of pages that I managed there. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the family lender. So that's the page that we want to connect it to as far as the Facebook business page. And then we're going to hit next. Then it's going to ask me to review my contact info. The email address is correct. So is the phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. Once I hit done, it's going to save over. Welcome to Family Lender. You now have more tools to connect with your audience on Instagram. Go to your profile. So now, as you can see, there's a call now option there and an email button for someone to contact me directly. The other cool part is if I click up right at the top of my profile, it tells me how many visits I've had in a few days and I can see the different engagement as far as uh, activity between interactions, disco discovery, reach and impressions on this page. And the most important part is where my audience is coming from and how they're engaging, what age groups, male or female, what are the best hours and days that my audience is actually engaging with the content on this profile. So that's it, guys. Quick, simple, easy to the point. If you haven't already and you're definitely using Instagram to promote your business on social media, I would say go ahead and make the switch to that business profile and start looking at those analytics to help you curate your content better. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more practical tips and tricks to help you, the realtor rock star or mortgage loan originator, grow your business on social media.